there welcome back to the rare book views channel where i'm hoping to take you along on some of my book hunting adventures where i go searching for and hopefully finding some special editions of books i am a huge reader but i also have the collecting bug and i'm running out of room so i try to find particularly special editions early editions illustrations cool things for the books that i read when i was a kid and i also really enjoy discovering new classics that are really fun and I also just read regular popular fiction, but I am frugal, so part of the journey is finding things that I'm willing to pay part with my hard-earned money for. Um, and along the way, I really love finding things for people, uh, my friends and my family who are looking for certain things. So I always have a list, I always have a hunt going on, and today I'm going hunting to a huge bookstore that is a giant warehouse. And I've been there from time to time, I've done these videos before when I go there and it is pretty great because sometimes you can find amazing bargains. Sometimes I think the other side, sometimes I think they've gone a little too far with their prices, but I found some great bargains and it is always good people watching. It is always a fantastic time. So I really appreciate everyone who has supported me doing this channel and making these videos because it gives me more reasons to go and have these book adventures, particularly right now. I have a lot of books on hand. I don't need anything to read, but I'm happy to go to the bookstore. So let's go see what we can find. trip there was definitely it was nice out it was a nice drive it is a little bit far to get to which is why I don't go there every single day uh, but it was beautiful out and the people watching was top-notch <laughs> some characters in the bookstore buying and selling today there's some interesting folks about and I found some fantastic things I found great treasures first one was this is a book by Louise May Alcott called Jack and Jill. This is one of her, it's not little women, it's not little men. She just kept writing them. So this is one of the ones that's a little more obscure, but it's in this beautiful format. So this is the spine. This is similar to the copy I have of a just previous one where the gilt goes onto the cover. So this one was turn of the century, 1880 is on the copyright page, which is not bad. It has a tiny little thing here. Um, uh, poor guy. This comes from when you take a book off the shelf, if you put your finger here and pull on the top, the fabric goes above where the pages are. And this is an older book, so somebody put a little too much, it was maybe too tight in the shelf. And always make sure you put your hand farther in so that you're not pull you're pulling on the whole book and rather than on the spine, this guy. Uh, somebody didn't do that. So it does have a little bit of an injury. But it was a bargain 
at approximately six dollars. Is that what I paid? No, I paid less than that. I paid about three dollars, which is nothing. So this is a huge bargain. I think that I have sold another book in this edition, but a different title. It wasn't one of them super famous ones either and I sold it on eBay for 20 or $25 so a few dollars it's worth a lot more than that this is I'm gonna give first right of refusal to a co-worker of mine she's a big Louise May Alcott fan so I'm gonna see if she wants to add this to her collection I've got a couple interesting heritage press books they come in this slipcase this was the format I think this was a subscription I don't think they're still in business but there are a ton of these books around and some of them are amazing the illustrators are really good they're in this nice fancy on your shelf it's gonna look amazing this one the case is in really nice condition and so is the book it's pretty crisp I think the binding is probably never been read this is Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain it's got the Norman Rockwell illustrations which are so great I've seen different versions um, of this book with this with the Norman Rockwell illustrations but this one's really nice and it comes with it came with this periodical sand glass I don't know why it's called that um, that would come with the book and it gives a little bit of history of the book a little bit about why it's important or significant sometimes they talk about the illustrator and this was also a bargain at six dollars these I've sold these many times and um, in different versions this is probably $15 on eBay, maybe $20, and that will support my book buying habit, and hopefully we'll find a new home for that guy. Same, same format, the Heritage Press and Slipcase. This is Journey to the Center of the Earth, and this is an interesting one. Jules Verne, they have quite the following. It is, this is one of those titles that it's harder to find a special edition, um, something pretty for gift edition or for your shelf. Um, so this has a following online. It was the same price, it was $6, which is a bargain. And I don't actually know what this is gonna sell for eBay prices. It's probably in the 15 to 20 range. It's got these really kind of creepy illustrations. They're fantastic, because I feel like Journey to the Center of the Earth should be slightly creepy. So, and it comes also with the sand glass. You'll see them often without this will get lost, but it is nice to have it. So that I thought was a great treasure and that'll help my budget for the future trips. <laughs> this is a little nutty. <sighs> Carnival Turtle by Dr. Seuss. This is vintage and you can kind of tell for a couple reasons. It doesn't have a barcode, it doesn't have a book number. The copyright page on this guy has these particular dates. It's got multiple dates on the copyright page, but I know that this actual, the story appeared in different formats before it was a standalone volume. And this, I believe, it is really hard to tell without a dust jacket, but I think this is the first edition. So it's fun because of that, but it has, who someone has used this and loved it. So I'm not really sure what it is worth. It cost me a grand total of $4.00. It might bring 10. I'm gonna do a little research. There is a website that documents how many of the ways to tell what it, if you have a first edition of a Dr. Seuss. I'll put that in the notes. It's a great size site. They have photos and they give you some of the guidance about certain books on certain pages have a certain mark and that is in the first edition. This one didn't really have a ton of info. That was a little bit of a gamble, but I enjoy gamble sometimes. <laughs> um, this this is the crowning achievement of the day. This is a copy of The Hobbit in the original American Trade Edition. The dust jacket on this guy is really sad and look. Okay, so I am gonna put this in a archival cover, which will zhuzh it up a little bit. It'll make it look a little bit more fancy, but um, the issue is on the spine, when you do that, if there's missing, it's gonna be white, which means this part that says The Hobbit's gonna get covered up um, but it is still I do not have a vintage copy so I'm gonna keep it and I can show you this is pretty neat the dust jacket is not price clipped that's the original price on it and I will carefully take off the dust jacket so that you can see this cool it has this amazing map on the end papers which is just so neat this is the mm -hmm. Hmm. the cover and 
in the back it has another map. Um, and I can tell you this guy on the copyright page, put a marker here so we can find it, it says 23rd printing and there's a letter C. And I'm still researching, what does this letter C mean? I don't know. Um, but this is the original version and it has the Tolkien illustrations on it. And they did reprint it many times. And then there's a modern reprint and I do have a copy of that. So you can see the coloring is very different. But it does have the map. And this is clearly a reproduction. Um, this one, I bought this many years ago and it's the recommended price is $25. And I think that you can get a used copy of this probably for maybe $15 online. It has the reproduction of the original illustrations. So this is a nice book to have. <laughs> Am I gonna keep them both? I haven't decided. Put them next to each other on the shelf. Maybe then it'll be less confusing that I've lost part of the dust jacket. Um, but this copy, I paid $5. And I'm sure the reason this bookstore priced it that way was because the dust jacket is in awful condition. But I can tell you, without a dust jacket, it's worth more than $5. And it's certainly worth more than that to me. Um, I'm gonna put this, like I said, I'll put it in an archival cover like the other one with the, the nice cover so that it'll keep it nice and crisp and it'll clean it up a little bit. And that will be, I think I only paid maybe a dollar or so. It's a volume thing. If you buy 25, it's one price. If you buy 50, it's a lot less per cover. But I did a video about how to put them on your dust jacket, so I'll put a link to that. And if you want to make them prettier, um, you can do that. This is sort of the version that would be on a library book just without the stickers. And on the reprint, I should show you, the cover on this one is not the original green. They gave it a slightly different cover. But if you want a nice copy of The Hobbit, I think this is a great one to have. And if you can find a vintage one, um, maybe that's nice, right? I don't know. Um, this one, like I said, I paid about $5. Online, I can't find one that's the 23rd printing. There are many, and they look exactly the same. There's so many printings. The earlier ones are probably more valuable, so they tend to be a little bit more. I couldn't find a 23rd. I found one that was later and one that's earlier, and if you look in the middle and squint, um, this one's maybe worth $30. So I felt really good about that because, like I said, I'm going to sell a couple of the other books, and this one costs $5. It's all going to come out basically as a wash and I found a book for my friend so it was a really great trip I really had a great time I would love to know what you think do you like the videos where I show you the shopping trip let me know in the comments thank you for watching and happy reading